हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक इन माय लेक्चर सीरीज एंड आई एम मिस्टर प्रदीप कांचिया हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोलॉजी डॉक्टर सुभाष साइंस कॉलेज एफिलेटेड विद फक्त कवि नरसिंह मेहता यूनिवर्सिटी जूनागढ़ इन दिस वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट कंजर्वेशन एंड वेरी ब्रीफली व्हाट इज द कंजर्वेशन और इन सीटू कंजर्वेशन एंड एक्सी टू कंजर्वेशन नाउ फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट विथ दी नाउ फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट विथ दी इंट्रोडक्शन सो बायोडाइवर्सिटी इज डिग्री ऑफ वेरिएशन ऑन लाइफ फॉर्म कॉल इन आवर प्लानट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्पीसीज विल डिफरेंट हैबिटेट वी कैन सी इट इज ऑल्सो यूनिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक it is a totally of gene species and ecosystem of the region biodiversity is a richness of organism it may be referred to the total number of organism present in habitat or in ecosystem because the uh, uh, here the uh, discuss with the population because the, some species are population high some species population are low it indirectly and species conserve or not human have been directly or indirectly dependent and or dependent on biodiversity for sustain to consider extinct because it it is a truly true sentence because the living organism all living organism like human human are totally dependent on biodiversity or ecosystem increased population pressure and development activity have led to the large scale of depletion of natural resources now importance of the biodiversity biological diversity is the very basic of human survival and economic development as it provide food housing clothing medicine and industrial raw materials a wide range of industrial raw material are directly obtained from the biological or bio resources like rubber oil fiber building materials timber paper and all obtained from the biological resources one scientist behar et al and uh, one scientist and team behar et al 2018 it describe 80% of the world population dependent on medicine obtained from the nature it is a strongly true loss of the biodiversity why biodiversity are losses some criteria or some disturbance are there so we discuss loss of the biodiversity the main causes of the biodiversity loss are habitat destruction main point of the habitat destruction because the deforestation urbanization are come because day by day human population are increasing then wildlife are decreasing invasive species some invasive species some new species are come them like uh, in our uh, uh, india prosophis julifera one bowered species are come and then is the everywhere growth because the is the saline area also grow in the nearby coastal area also grow in the forest area also grow in villages city everywhere prosophis julifera easily grow and then native species are gone pollution some industrial pollution are there in the coastal line area river and area so many industry are there so industrial pollution are directly dumping to the river or sea then native species or particular uh, it it localized species are go on Pol population population also uh, called the lord loss of the biodiversity because the some uh, population is higher and some uh, population lower than the is hunting some men made hunting some uh, poaching it also the loss of the biodiversity 
ओवर एक्सप्लोटेशन ओवर एक्सप्लोटेशन मीन्स सम फीस वन रिवर लाइक एग्जाम्पल लाइक वन रिवर आर देर इन वन रिवर इन पर्टिकुलर वन फीस बट वन फीस आर देर बट फीस आर सम फीसर मैन आर कलेक्ट daily to uh, bulk amount and then or exploitation over exploitation through loss of the biodiversity are caused and climatic changes are natural introduction of exotic species some exotic species are also the loss of the biodiversity destruction or habitat the bigger threat of the biodiversity we had earlier discussed like the Uh, destruction of the habitat by human by urbanization death habitat can also be damaged by flooding lack of water climate change salination etc all phenomena which may be the both of natural or man made global warming global warming are affected plant animal microorganism both of changes their habitats and the direct effect to the temperature climate change it is also affect the species and cellular level eh, and can alter the genetic makeup from the cell here we discuss in major two types how we can conserve the biodiversity conservation can broadly classify into two categories first one is in situ and second one is ex situ in situ conservation what is the meaning of in situ in means inside of the particular area and x means outside of the particular area so in in situ on site conservation of the conservation of genetic resources in natural habitats example like national park bio reserve forest and wildlife sanctuary and ex situ means the off side of the conservation or process of the protecting an endangered species of plants and animals outside of the natural habitat like zoo botanical garden and seed bank at the one flow chart we can see the biodiversity conservation in the two type natural home and artificial home here the natural home it called the in situ conservation in the part of wildlife sanctuary national park and biosphere reserve and artificial home means ex situ conservation like seed bank zoo and botanical gardens what is in describing we we are studying in detail in situ conservation on site conservation means it is the process of protecting an endangered plant or animal it is a natural habitat either by protecting or cleaning up the habitat itself or by defending the species from predator it is applied to conservation or agriculture biodiversity in agroforestry by farmer especially those using unconventional farming practices here the some points of the in situ conservation the creation of protected area like sanctuary national park biosphere reserves revenue particular revenue area protect uh, revenue some particular area to protect the animal the protection and restoration of degraded area the development of strategies to conservation the main environment the creation of natural corridor linking area biological interest to prevent the habitat habitat fragment fragmentation information education and rise awareness this is mandatory to conserve the biodiversity the employ of local resources especially human like villages some people some forest area nearby village so some village people are hired to conserve the biodiversity because he is know everything to the forest area or localized particular forest area some village people are also known the uh, human uh, animal behavior like in particular we discuss in gujarat 
particular revenue which are so more and the lion uh, sighting are every day then some local people are easily to see in the it's angry or not is the normal like this the development of alternative and sustainable econo economic mechanism here there some categories are there we discuss strict protection category 1a and 1b is a strict nature reserve and wildness area because in particular two area is low of very high category 2 is the national park category 3 is the natural mountain or feature category 4 is the habitat or species management area category 5 means protected landscape or seascape area and category 6 is a protected area with sustainable use of natural resources now we discuss about some national parks national park is a particular protected area to conserve the biodiversity area of scientific beauty historical importance etc owned and maintained by national government which government are handled in national park and centuries like an international organization the international union for conservation for nature like it's called the iucn and it world commission on protected areas has defined national park as a category type two of protected area the united states established the first public park pleasuring garden and the ground for the benefit and enjoyment of the people Yellowstone National Park in 90 uh, sorry 1872 India with the first national park was established in 1936 is a highly national park now known as Jim Corbett National Park Park Uttarakhand Here is some uh, national park name and uh, some threatened species are there like uh, first one is the gear lion is the gear national park kana national park photos here the one bear are there peria national park for elephant Corbett national park also for animal wildlife tiger reserve and tiger tiger uh, national park here in uh, uh, figure shows the India has so many national park are there. In particular, with Gujarat, four national park are there: Vasda National Park, Velavada National Park, Little Run of Kutch, like Marine National Park, and Gir National Park. Some national park we shortly discussed: Corbett National Park, location like Uttarakhand. India one of the first well-known national park for tiger and some project are also going on save tiger or tiger project the park has large area which divide into five zones first zone is the Jahirna it open to public all around the year and the other zone are closed during the monsoon other season like open the elephant safari inside the park are ex exiting and give the close safe trip in the dense forest. The Dikala zone is the best spot enjoying the wildlife. Kajiranga National Park, location in Assam, a world heritage site, is the Kajiranga National Park. The park hosts with two thirds of the world great one on rhinoceros. Is the called is Extingi Gendo, located on the edge of the Eastern Himalaya Biodiversity Hotspot. The park combines high species diversity and visibility. Also, Kajiranga boards the high density of tiger among protected area. 
in the world. The park is home to large breeding population of elephant, wild, water buffalo and swamp deer. Sundarban National Park. It is the location in the West Bengal. Sundarban is a dense mangrove forest. India has a very large mangrove forest. It's called Sundarban. Sundarban is the particular in the uh, muddy muddy area in the nearby West Bengal or Bengal. Jagannath Puri. The, this area particular the uh, very dense forest. Sundarban is a dense mangrove forest which is a unique and magnificent place to visit. It includes 54 islands and extinct to the nearby Bangladesh. It is a wide swamp which can be explored only using boat. It's a refuge for migration birds and reserve for the rare of the preserved wildlife. It is one of the largest reserves for the Bengal tiger. This is Kana National Park, location for Madhya Pradesh. It is a dense and rich area, bamboo forest. It is a beautiful lake running stream and white grassland. It is a large park known as the Forest Research and Conservation Program for the preserve many endangered species like wild tiger, hippopotamus. The park has significant population of Royal Bengal Tiger, Leopard and Sloth Bear, Barasinga and Indian Wild Dog. Gir Forest National Park situated in Gujarat. Establishment in 1965 with a total area of 1412 kilometers about 258 km square and on fully protected area the national park and 1153 km square for the sanctuary area it is the sole home for asiatic lion and it is considered to be one of the most important protected area in asia due to the support spaces because the gear lion particular in the Pentralio Persica. Hmm? Persica is a subspecies, is not seen anywhere. Particular is location is the Gujarat. The ecosystem of gear with the diverse flora and fauna is protected as a result of the efforts of government forest dependent wildlife activity and NGOs. In the wild, uh, some wildlife sanctuary also. It is a naturally occurring sanctuary such as the island to provide the protection for species, hunting, predator and competition. An international organization, the International Union for Conservation, IUCN and World Commission of Protected Area is a different wildlife sanctuary, the sanctuary as a category for type of protection area in national park category 2 and century is category 4 century are generally the safe havens which the animal are give the opportunity to be to behave as naturally as possible the protected environment and maintaining each animal until his natural death india has our 442 animal sanctuary refers as a wildlife sanctuary. The sanctuary and forest reserve at home to several endangered species of animal and birds like the Asiatic elephant, the Bengal tiger, Royal Bengal tiger, the Sloan leopard and the Siberian crane. Here is some photograph of the endangered species is the periyar century the most famous century in india located in in Kombli district in kerala the middle of the cardamon hills and pride of kerala it is known is the elephant and tiger 
This is the home of many threatened wild wilds like lion tail macaw and nilgiri langur and bonnet macaw. Bonnet macaw. It is also host mammal like barking deer, gaur, sambar, dogs, mangoes, foxes, leopards, and of course the elusive nilgiri thar. Several birds like kingfisher, racket tailed drongos, and darters add to its attraction. Python and king cobra also found here. The period century. Chilkala. Chilkala is a very beautiful place for the scene of some birds and dolphin. Chilkala is the backwater lagoon following into the Bay of Bengal, covering area of the 1100 km square area is a very large 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 lake it is the largest coastline lagoon in india and the second largest lagoon in the world it is the largest wintering ground for migratory birds or the indian subcontinent the lake is the home of number of threatened species plants and animal and the Lake is the ecosystem where large fisheries resources also. So thank you. And serve animals, serve worlds. Thank you.